you hear the ice cream van? The ice cream van, the ice cream van. Can you hear the ice cream van? And Vicky is her name. Would you like an ice cream cone? Ice cream cone, ice cream cone. Would you like an ice cream cone that Vicky has just made? Vicky drives through the town, through the town, through the town. Vicky drives through the town to serve some more ice cream. Would you like some chocolate sauce? Chocolate sauce, chocolate sauce. Would you like some chocolate sauce or would you like it plain? Vicky drives along the beach, along the beach, along the beach. Vicky drives along the beach, it's very, very hot. This ice cream will cool you down, cool you down, cool you down. This ice cream will cool you down, just watch it doesn't melt. Would you like a flake with that, a flake with that, a flake with that? Would you like a flake with that and sprinkles on the top? Would you like an ice lolly, an ice lolly, an ice lolly? Would you like an ice lolly and perhaps some lemonade? Did you hear the ice cream van, the ice cream van, the ice cream van? Did you hear the ice cream van and Vicky is her name? Hello everyone! It's my day off today. No vehicles to fix and nothing to do but enjoy the sunshine at the beach. The only thing that can make this better is a delicious ice cream. Where did you get those from, Mechanicals? Vicky! Great to see you! One ice cream, please, with sprinkles and a flake. Oh no! Vicky's lost power to her ice cream churn and freezer. That means she can't stir the mixture or freeze it. Hmm, it looks like a problem with Vicky's generator. The generator creates electricity to power the churn and the freezer. We need replacement parts from the garage. But by the time we get there, all her ice cream will have melted. And just look at this queue of mechanicals waiting for ice cream. First, we need a way to churn up this ice cream mixture. Some kind of mixer. I think I've got an idea. Everyone, stop what you are doing. This is an emergency. Celia, Rick, mechanicals. Come with me. The mechanicals are helping out, so there's no need to feel glum. They'll pump Vicky's ice cream mixture into Celia's mixing drum. Celia churns the ice cream mixture around and around and around. And now it's ready. And... Oh no, it's pouring on the ground! Rick, what are you doing? That's not fresh tarmac. It's supposed to be a chilly and delicious ice cream snack. Of course it isn't working right. Now I know the reason. Celia is doing the mixing, but the mixture isn't freezing. To go and find another freezer might take hours and hours. So let's all call for Super Mac with his super powers. Go, go, Super Mechanical! Wow, Super Mechanical is using his freezing ray to cool down Celia's drum. Let's try again. I can see a keen mechanical with his cone ready and waiting.
Come on, Vicky. Now Celia's serving the ice cream to that queue of mechanicals. Let's get you back to the garage to get your generator fixed. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help. A vehicle in need. The mechanicals have all the parts to fix your generator. So you can get back to the beach and serve more ice cream later. Celia was very kind. She really loves to mix. But she should be with the construction crew. They've got a road to fix. Oh dear. Those vehicles do look grumpy. They've been waiting at the roadworks for ages. We're back. Thanks for helping Celia and Super Mechanical. Hooray. I think I'm finally going to get my ice cream. An ice cream from Celia and another one from Vicky. What a lucky gecko I am. I think I'd better share these. Thanks very much for joining us today. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Hello everyone! We've got a real problem at the garage today. Rick the road roller hasn't got any roads to roll at the construction site. He's really bored and now he's here flattening anything he can find. Hey, that's my toolbox. Rick. We really need to find something useful for Rick to do before he causes any more damage. Hello Vicky. Vicky the Ice Cream Van's visiting us today too. She's looking for something new to sell to people at the beach. Ice creams and lollies are okay as a treat, but Vicky wants to sell something a bit healthier as well. Come inside the garage, Vicky, and I'll show you what we've got for you. Check out the Rainbow Smoothie Trailer 3000. It can hold six different types of smoothie, made with yummy, healthy fruit. It's the perfect drink to cool people down during a hot day at the beach. What's the matter, Vicky? Don't you like it? Oh, I see. You like the smoothie trailer, but it's empty. Hmm, how are we going to make the smoothies? My truck friends can deliver the fruit. But we need a way to squash it into juice. That is a problem. Can you think of anyone who can help us to squash the fruit? Rick! Of course! That solves both our problems. Rick gets something useful to squash. And Vicky gets her smoothies. We need a platform for Rick to stand on so that he can squash the fruit. Then we can park the smoothie trailer underneath to catch the juice. This sounds like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go mechanicals! While the mechanicals are building the platform for Rick, let's have a look at the yummy fruit that my truck friends are delivering. Helen the helicopter is carrying a load of giant watermelons. Florence the forklift has crates of juicy oranges. Dylan the dump truck is carrying lemons, pineapples and mangoes. Trevor the tractor has a trailer of crunchy apples and furry kiwis. Sid the skid loader is loaded up with blueberries, grapes and plums. And Max the Monster Truck has boxes of tasty bananas and delicious ripe raspberries. Let's make some rainbow smoothies. Let's get squashing. We'll start with red. Oh no, Rick's crushing green fruit instead. Oh, now I see why he was so keen. Inside the watermelon is red. 
Not green. Now here's a fruit with nothing to hide. It's called an orange. And it's orange inside. It's the juice I love the most. It's yummy with my morning toast. Lemon, pineapple and mango. Rick squashes them up. The juice is yellow. Watch the pipes as the liquids flow. Into the trailer down below. Next, I think it must be time for apple and kiwi and a hint of lime. The best juice colour I've ever seen. Just like me, a lovely green. Now I don't know what to do. Blueberry juice isn't really blue. So let's add grapes and then a plum. A purple smoothie's just as fun. Just one more box of fruit to go. Squash those raspberries nice and slow. Add some bananas and it's ready to drink. This final one is super pink. Fantastic! Well done everyone! Those smoothies look great! Before you head off to the beach, Vicky, I think we should do a taste test. Mmm, -mm, these are yummy! The people at the beach are going to love these healthy fruity drinks. Thanks for joining us at Gecko's Garage today and helping us to make delicious smoothies. See you again soon. Bye. Phew, it's hot today. The mechanicals have been working very hard, fixing up broken vehicles. I think they deserve a treat to help them cool down. Just in time, here comes Vicky the ice cream van. Hello Vicky. Five vanilla ice creams please. With sprinkles and a flake. Oh dear, that's not right. This ice cream is all warm and melted. And look, Vicky, there's a puddle of water underneath you. Come on inside the garage. I have a feeling that your freezer might be broken. Let's get the mechanicals to take a look at you. Go, go mechanicals! It seems as if your freezer's gone a little funny. The compressor's stopped working, and that's made your ice cream runny. We'll fit a new one to make the freezer cool. There, you're all fixed up now. We used the right tool. We need to make more ice cream to replace the melted batch. Let's add all the ingredients to Vicky's mixing hatch. We need some milk and sugar, and don't forget the cream. Add eggs, some vanilla, whisk them up in your machine. Then let the freezer do its work to cool the mixture down. Vicky the ice cream van, the coolest truck in town. Right, let's try that again. Five vanilla ice creams, please, with sprinkles and a flake.
One, two, three, four, five. Delicious. What a great treat to help us cool down on a hot summer's day. Beautiful, freshly made ice cream. I'm glad we could fix your freezer today, Vicky. Thanks again for the ice creams. Fiona Fire Truck. Fiona Fire Truck. Nina, Nina, Nina. Fiona Fire Truck. Fiona Fire Truck. Nina, Nina. Fiona Fire Truck is so big and red. She has a flashing light. You'll have no fear She has a very loud siren So you know she's near A long, long ladder To reach the height And a curly, whirly hose When there's fire to fight Fiona Fire Truck She has enough seats to fit the crew inside With room for them to change on the super fast ride With a powerful pump to get the water pressure strong She pumps it down the hose pipes, wow they're very long And if your poor little kitten is stuck up a tree Fiona will be there to set her free Fiona fire truck Here comes Fiona the fire truck. She should be hard at work rescuing people and putting out fires, but it looks like something's wrong. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hiya Fiona. You look like you've sprung a leak in your water tank. You can't put out fires without your water. Do you want me to take a look at it for you? Oh, that hole looks bad, Fiona. We'll need to fix it right away. Let's see if we have a metal plate that's the right shape to patch up the hole. That hole in your tank has left a puddle. Your hose is dry. You're all in a muddle. To patch you up, that is our goal. Let's see which shape best fits that hole. Let's try a circle. No, that doesn't fit. What about a triangle? Still no good. A square patch is what you need. Hmm, maybe not. This hexagon shaped patch might be right. Oh no, try again. Wait a minute, yes that's it. A star shaped patch, the perfect fit. There we go, all fixed. Now we just need to fill up your water tank and you're ready to go. Fiona, can you hear that? I think someone needs a fire putting out. You'd better get going. Good luck, Fiona. Fiona is a very brave fire engine. And now with our help, she's able to do her important work properly. Thanks for helping me out today at Gecko's Garage. Join me next time when we'll help another vehicle in need. Bye! 
everyone. Fiona, the fire truck's at the garage today. She's having her yearly checkup. Yes, Blue, there is a lot to do. It's going to take all day. Hmm. If Fiona is here all day, what's going to happen if she's called to an emergency? What's that, Red? You've got a friend who'd like to volunteer for firefighting duty. Brilliant! Where is this new friend of yours? I'm really excited about meeting this shiny new fire truck. I wonder when she's going to get here. Oh, she's here already. Uh, hello. You must be Maggie. Maggie the mini fire truck. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm sorry. I was expecting someone a little <laughs> bigger. Ah! <coughs> yes. Stop, stop. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, Red. I'm sorry, Maggie. It was mean of me to laugh at you because of your size. Thanks for offering to help today. A fire? At the farm? You'd better get going. Good luck, everyone. Hello Maggie. Hello Red. Hello Blue. You look worn out after such a busy day on firefighting duty. What a fantastic job you've done covering for Fiona. Even though you're tiny, you were a massive help today. Now Fiona's as good as new. She can't wait to get back to work. And Maggie's going to make a fantastic addition to the firefighting crew. You best get going. See you both again soon. I hope you enjoyed meeting our new friend Maggie today. She showed me that even the smallest people can make the biggest difference. For now, it's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye!